guys welcome back to my channel my name is deborah and if you are new here hello welcome thank you for tuning in if you're a returning subscriber hi thank you for coming back to watch my content i love you and today i'll be talking about how to leverage money for time in your business if you are watching this video and you feel overwhelmed you feel like you are doing too much you are the one that pack order you do this you do that you go to pack to send you come back you are tired there's a way you can send little little money it doesn't have to be big money right there's a way you can use little money to leverage time and you have time to rest that is part of how i'm able to do a lot of things at a time because i know that i cannot do everything if this interests you make sure you watch through to the end everything in this video is gem you know me i'm the value queen i give you value back to back and without further parara can we please move straight into action oh. as a business owner the earlier you know that you cannot do all these things by yourself the better when you are just starting you do everything by yourself but as you grow as you have more orders you you get overwhelmed you feel like you are doing too much you get tired right and most especially when you have more commitments someone like me i am married i have my family to attend to even though i'm doing a business i'm running a youtube channel we don't eat out so i cook in bulk there are still these I do not have an house help yet <laughs> so i have to find a way to manage all these things so if i am not doing my business and just with my business i am overwhelmed i feel like oh god I am dead. <laughs> how, how am i gonna do it <laughs> the first point is you knowing that you cannot do everything alone you cannot do it alone most especially when you have other commitments there's no way you want to show for it even if you have someone working for you you still need to leverage on your money to make things easy for you and the person working for you. So it is important you have that mindset that I cannot do it alone. Don't also have the mindset that, oh, I want to spend all my profits. You not tie it into your chest like this. Life is meant to be enjoyed. See, I encourage saving, right? But I have learned that if you put everything on your chest and you just die like this, the remaining of your money, people will spend it anyhow. And you just die like that. So I have learned to prioritize my health, my well-being, and every other thing so when i am allocating the money i am not too high on the fact that i want to get all these things to myself alone i also know that other people must benefit from me okay now let's go to how to buy time with money now make sure you watch through to the end this is just part of it you need other points as well they are very vital to you this is what i do when i was with my parents my parents are in oyo state ibadan right so when i got married i came to lagos all through the time I did business at home, I was sharing the same store with my mom. There's one thing I do. When I go to park, I go to different parks to send. I, there's, it depends on where the item is going. So if it's going to Lagos, then I was in Ibadan. Now I am in Lagos. When I got married, I moved to Lagos. Or if it's going to... I sent to Adwekiti, I sent to Akure, I sent to Oshogbo, I sent to Abuja. I sent to different places. So when I go to the park, I see you today, you send for me. I meet you tomorrow the next time i'll collect your number and i'll tip you i can give you 500 i used to allocate that money so I, at first the reason why i do this thing is because i feel like these people are not earning enough and if i can let's go with 500 year the day i can just give it to these people that is how i see life right and i learned this thing from my husband my husband is someone that if you are doing your job well and you attend to my husband well he try to give you something and it's not because he has too much money. My husband has money in Jesus' name. But it's not because money is scratching his body, right? He said it's because even though these people are doing their work, also be nice to them. You never know. Maybe they are earning 30000 per month and they rely on some small, small money they see here and there to do the transportation and feeding. It just really helps. That is his own. So I picked that attitude from him. So when I started, when I go to God is good, God, there's one rule about God is good. You have to sit down. You can meet 10 people. All of you will sit. If you have sent through God is good, you know why I'm saying. So then I was in Ibadan. I'll go to God is good. I'll sit down. Everybody will sit down. I can use like one hour there. So by the time I leave my house and come back to my home, I would have spent three hours. If there's a rush. If there's no rush, I may, I may use one and a half hours. Like, I keep spending time. So when I go, I start to give them money. Three of them were actively there. I can go and just give them one five, five, five hundred naira. They share it. But the day I go, I had to go somewhere quickly, and I dropped my parcel. They did the well be for me, and I sent airtime to the three of them, all of them. I collected their number, and they were all happy. 
they were hailing me hold oh, no. up you know it's normal if someone gives me something of course i would also be happy right now my point is when it was time for my wedding that was when i know the magnitude of the things i have been doing a month to my wedding i never stepped out like i did not go and send in the pack and i was having others day in day out immediately i pack i have a bike man i just give him this item he goes to the park i have the number of everybody in park if, is it bad or park i have if you are sending through park to abuja if the person does not want god is good all these Ujo places, they are in. This one is even very far from my side. I've gone there like three times, but I just see the people there. And me giving them money is not bribe. No, it is not a means of, okay, take bribe and help me do my thing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is not bribe. This is appreciating someone that I feel like they are doing their job well and just appreciate them. That's all. I'm not saying when you get somewhere for the first time. In fact, first time, don't give them anything. Second time, don't give them anything. It's the third time you cannot start giving them money. When it was time for my wedding, either to my wedding, I, I still sent out three orders. I think God is good is when you come, you sit down when it's your turn to do your will before you. But I would not leave my house. I'll send my rider. He would go there with four packages. He does not sit. I'll just tell him, ask for this person, ask for this person or this person. Because the way God is good is they do one day, they do off. So you, you may come to work three days and one day you are off. Anyone you sit there, just tell the person this package is for door collections. They would just collect my item. Then you go to all these places. The cocoa of my story is, it really, really relieved the stress for my wedding. I told them, oh, I'll be getting married, so I won't be able to come at all. They were just, they were even checking on me. Oh, how was wedding prep? How are you? After my wedding, they sent me messages and all that. So what am I saying? The days of 1,500 a time, that is what I used in buying time. If, at the time I was about getting married, I did not have anyone working for me. Do you know how stressed I would have been? And I realized that because I give these people money, if there's any small issue on my package, they'll fight for me. <laughs> like one, one man wanted to mess with me. If you, you have to see how one of these garage men came out and fought for me. But it is loyalty. They feel like you're a good person and they want to be good to you too. One good one deserves another, right? So the places you used to send, make sure you tip them. I've not left my house this morning. I had a package to eat, but But... I can give my rather to just go and send it there. I do not have to leave. Imagine how stressful it's going to be. I woke up, I pack orders, I'll rush to park, I'll come back, then I'll start filming. I record my videos for YouTube every Thursday and I do my video in bulk. I do them at a stretch. I may record three videos, four videos. I post three times a week. So, so just one sitting, I make sure I do my videos for the week. The next time I see it, I'll be doing the video for the next week. So I basically do my recording four times a month and i put out 12 videos in a month now what i'm saying is giving people money is something you have to calculate with your business or by the cost you are sending in jumia you get there you meet the people they responded well to you when you're on your way you see more you can just buy five months five people are there give it to them it, with that the days i have my strapping or something i cannot leave my house that does not disturb my order I'll send someone to go there, just get their mention my name. They'll collect my order. It's the same thing for Jumia, it's the same thing for God is Good, it's the same thing for all the parts I send. They all know me. I relate with them and I tip them money. Okay? If you are still watching this video, that means you love me, you love my content, and you are getting value. Hit the subscribe button and join the family. I don't bite. This is where you should be, right? <laughs> join the family and share this content to more people that you think that would need and get value from this content. Okay, however, I just got to this place. I just got to Lagos and I'm still trying to get along with like that Jumia. God is good. I'm getting along well with them. Though I still have to go to God is good myself because they are quite straight and I've only gotten along well with one person. But a lot of times I go there, maybe we are passing through the place and my husband is driving. I'll just get there and drop the item. So I'll just tell them, please, I cannot wait. My husband is outside. The details are on the package, just do it for me and I'll leave. And they, they will do the, this thing for me, process my order and I'll leave. I do not have to join the queue. Why? I know how to push some lit. It doesn't have to be a lot of money, but just use that money. <laughs> have a budget for it. Tip, tip budget. My delivery guys that come here, I tip them. I'm paying for the delivery service to the madam. Oh. The day I have 500, I'll give them. The day I have Fanta. Cool. This point is be nice to people. Some, some business owners have this attitude of being very rude. A dispatch rider comes to pick up, you are very rude to them. You are like, oh, if they burn you well. So when it comes to presentations, 
some people are not good at it. They do not know the right way to present themselves. So they just talk anyhow to this rider. Because the person is a rider does not mean you should talk badly to them. I talk nicely to every rider that comes in contact with me. The rider I used in Ibadan till now, he still calls me. The delivery guy I used in Ibadan, he came to my wedding. He gave me 2,000 Naira. That money was not that much, but the day he came, I was very happy and was like, ah, you are very nice to me, oh, ah, you are nice to me, I'll miss you so much. Like, I felt emotional that day, like, really, <laughs> I felt really, really emotional. If a writer can give you 2000 naira from his earnings, he did not do his job that day, he cancelled that day to come to my wedding and to honor me, that means I must have been a very good person. And this is not to portray myself as, no. We all learn all the time. So learn to be nice to your delivery people. You would need help from them one day. And it's that money and your attitude that would help you. Now, there was a day I had a client. Usually, my delivery people pick up around 9. My client made payment 10.30. So I was trying to call my delivery people. They've gone. Then I called the rider. Hi, where are you? A, a client just made payment. And she asked to get her order today because it is a birthday gift for today. You know, I sell gifts and all that. So I, I explained to him, the guy was already at Ikeja. The guy came back. The guy was like, ah, auntie, you know, say you big for my hand. I don't go. My organ number, I know they go. How one column like this? Ah, but auntie, you're too big for my hand. No worry, I go turn back. This guy came back. He came back to pick up my item. And on that sales I made that day, my profit was 8,000 Naira on the, on, on the things I sold to that person. My profit was 8,000. You to look at it. I used to give him drinks, say 500 year, 500 year. Now, it came back because of me. Even the ogre did not know this till later. We did not tell the ogre that he came back. <laughs> but I paid the ogre. I said, oh, I gave him this package. So the ogre thought that when he came to me in the morning, I gave him more packages he did not know that he came to pick some earlier i called him again then he turned back to come and pick another why i was nice to him because i knew i would need see you would always need these people if you are not nice they will show you pepe all of my dispatch if there's an issue maybe rain is falling or something something they prioritize my order they will make sure they will say auntie don't worry i will deliver your package and I can see rain. I'll say, don't enter rain, no. And I used to tell them, don't enter rain. At least the clients can see that rain is falling. And we're inside Lagos together. We explain to the clients. Especially this raining season. There was a time they went to deliver my item by 9 p.m. It was late. It was one of our Father's Day order. And the guy knew that I sell gifts and it was meant to be a gift for the next day. It was late. The guy said, Auntie, I'm not going to deliver the rest, but your own order. I go, I go reach leg like here. I go deliver him for you. Be nice to people. This is a good way you can buy time. And it relieves you of a lot of headache. I can send out orders and sleep for two hours. Then I wake up. I'll be like, what's happening here? <laughs> be nice to all these people. Because you cannot do this job alone. You rely on these people. So why are you rude to them? Hmm? Please, you people, I'm also nice to you. Please help me share my content. Copy my link. Share it on your WhatsApp status. Please help us grow and reach a wider audience. I'm nice to you people. I give you value. You people, you know I be. <laughs> then lastly, be relatable. It's not about money alone. So because you give them money, does not mean you have to be I up here. Be relatable even. So when you are relatable with them, when there's an issue, they can help you so that you can buy time with money. They help you, they come to your aid as up because they think you are worth it and they know you are worth it. So talk to them, oh, you look fine today, oh. oh. All these strategies are because you do not have to be actively involved in everything. They can step in and do these things for you. So be relatable to your dispatch. If you go to um, DHL, you go to God is Good, you send in Jumia. When I go to Jumia, I try to laugh with them. I just started selling on Jumia February. So when I go there, in fact, the next time I go, I have the plan to tip all of them because the last time I go, I was only able to tip one person. There were other customers there and I did not want something that would mean something else to other people or affect their job, right? Because I said, hey, that is not a bribe. But if I am doing well to these people, something, something can happen and I will not be able to leave my house and I have to send out my packages. I'll just call one person, please. 
I'll send someone to drop this, and they they will do these things for me. Although the normal protocol is you have to come, you sit down, they check it. But when you are relatable, these people would compress time for you. Be relatable. Okay. With this viewpoint of mine, I hope I have been able to convince you and not to confuse you that you can use money to buy time in your business. <laughs> if you got value, hit the subscribe button, subscribe and join the family. This is hope. Also, click the like button so that YouTube can know that this video is valuable and push me out to more people that need to see this content. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. Thank you so much for watching and I'll definitely see you in my next video. Bye-bye.